Thank you, Emil. And Darren has, has asked a very interesting question. He asked, has there been an increase in Western governments not challenging disinformation when it is useful to them, sometimes as a distraction from current political or social challenges, or when it actually suits the narrative? Um, I'm trying to think of an example. It, as a principle, I would think that, as a principle, I think that when governments see uh, a narrative forming that they know to be untrue, but it serves their purpose, then I would, I would see, that, uh, I, I would imagine that people would probably not put resource into challenging that. But I think it, it very much depends. So it, it, Dar uh, if Darren um, has any examples um, uh, uh, to put in the chat box, I'd be happy to, uh, to look at any of them. But I think that um, if we look at it from sort of global sort of international politics, if if there's something untrue about, let's say, uh, Russia, let's say for example, the the example is that Russia is facing a loss of COVID-19 deaths after, uh, and people are upset with other governments are upset that Russia has um, been um, putting, you know, untrue information on Russia today, for example. I don't. I think a lot of governments would say, well, you know, we're not really going to bother to correct that. It's not. It's not our business, uh, essentially, and we will just leave it alone. And that would be the same in various scenarios. Um, but uh, I think if if it was more about um, a specific, like say the misinformation or disinformation was that we're going to have a uh, a vaccine tomorrow. And people know that's not true, but it serves government's purpose to say um, that to give people hope. Um, I would say in that scenario, I think um, it would be counterproductive to not challenge it because at some point people will come back and it will be proven to be untrue and the, the backlash will be worse. 